What's up guys, I'm Paul's Build, and today we're going to be building a brand new zoo in Planet Zoo, and it's going to be a bit of a Halloween zoo. So we're going to be using the Twilight Pack DLC, which is just released, and we're going to be doing an episode every day on the lead up to Halloween. I've chosen like the path we're using because I think that this looks like little mushrooms, and maybe this is just my brain, but I think it's like little spooky mushrooms, like a little witch's swamp or something. <laughs> we do have money, but we are actually in sandbox mode, so... I've enabled all the research and everything, so we don't have to research everything. But if you want to look up how to research in Planet Zoo, then I've got two other series on the channel where we do just that. The only thing that will be limiting on us on that though, is that we'll have no money at the start. So we've only got 40,000, which I think is what you start on in a normal franchise zoo. Um, I'm just going to build out here with a staff path because although we have all the scenery, we can't really use it yet. All of them are very expensive and we are going to be adding these to the zoo, but for now we need to just click blueprints, turn the blueprints off and use the basic ones while we get our zoo set up. So we're going to need an animal trade center because this lets you buy new animals and uh, ship them into your zoo. We're going to need a small keeper hut. We're going to need a quarantine to store new animals when we get them in the zoo. And we're going to need, we're not going to need a research center because as I said, we're not doing research, but normally you would need this. Then we're going to get a small staff room and a vet surgery. We don't need the workshop because again, this is what the mechanics use to research everything. Now we need to get ourselves some animals. So the first animal we're going to do today, as you may have seen by the thumbnail, is going to be the red fox. We're going to adopt Jody and Fraser. And we're obviously going to have to rename them to have some kind of... Uh, oh, we have no vets. That's okay. Don't worry. We have to rename them to have some kind of Halloween theme. I'm also going to leave it on so our zoo is open 24 hours a day because a lot of these animals are going to be seen at night. In fact, I think all of them as the basis of the pack are seen at night. So we need to make sure that it's open at night. I'm going to click on both of them and send to zoo and send them so they're in our quarantine. Now, no one's going to be able to do that until we hire some staff. So we're going to get some staff. We're going to need a keeper. Ooh, we're going to need a caretaker. Yeah. Yeah. Going to need a mechanic. I'm not going to repeat all of the sounds they make. And we're going to need a vet. And we're going to just rename them now. There we go. So they've all got pretty zany names. I'd be pretty annoyed if I went to work at a zoo and they decided to rename me. But hey. It, they chose the job. So you can see our animals, they've put them into uh, quarantine. So they're just going to check that they're okay. Although the vet's not really doing a great job of that right now. Um, I'm also going to create a work zone for them. So when you have staff, you need to create a work zone. I'm going to just drag all of these buildings and the uh, entrance and just call it zoo. Because this zoo is so small, we can just group everything into one group and then just assign everyone to it. But we have the option that we can make new ones if we want and just have them access specific buildings. The main thing you want to make sure you look at is that that you include the staff room in everything because otherwise if they don't have a staff room they're going to get really annoyed right let's get started on our zoo and i want to create like a little pumpkin patch fox habitat oh no it's already going wrong our fox is sick they're going to be okay oh look poor jody she's she's very very sleepy right now She'll be okay though. We need to check whether the red fox can have guests enter the habitat, but I assume they can't because that would be concerning. Guests can't enter the habitat and they're shy as well. So that's actually really important. We need to know that they're shy. So we can't build it so that there's loads of viewing into the habitat. There need to be areas where they can hide from guests if they're too scared. Um, the other thing you want to look at is on natural habitat is their land requirements. They don't need a lot of land. They need grade two fence and it needs to be higher than three meters. Okay, so they can jump. You just use wood logs. They look quite nice. We're going to need a wooden habitat gate. I'm going to connect this up first. And we're going to just have that go there. And then we're going to have wooden. It's already defaulted to wooden barriers. I'm going to make them eight meters long. Have them angle snap so it goes in a straight line. It's definitely big enough for the foxes. And if, if we raise the terrain up. And then just edit barrier and drag this arrow along here so that these three, we're going to put glass in. 
So now guests can see in, but they can only see in here. We're also going to do it over here. They pass quarantine. Let's select both of them and move them into the into the habitat. We're going to get our first animals already. This is so exciting. At the minute, they're the most appealing animal. And can you see them? No, you can't. Uh, we do need to charge some money. So let's charge three and... Uh, well, three might be... Let's charge four. Four dollars entry and two for children. And see what guests think. Entry's free. Yeah, not for long, my friend. Not for long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there they are. This is a little zombie. Look how cute she is. She's loving it. These are adorable. I do love these. Look at them. One thing we need to do is add it to our work zone. So now our vet and our mechanic and our keeper can all access it. So the keeper's going to feed them and stuff. Um, the vet's going to check they're okay. Um, and the caretaker and the uh, mechanic is going to check that these barriers are healthy. I'm going to quickly go on heat map and click on habitat. That's good. That means that they can access the whole area of the habitat and they can't jump out anywhere. Oh, they need a lot more, a lot less long grass, a lot more soil and a little bit more rock. Okay, so we can do that. Ah, oh, they seem happy with that. Okay, so now all of these are in the green. We're all good. They need hard shelter. Maybe something like that's good, just to have a very basic little log shelter at the back. They can probably jump on top of it, actually, if we click on them. Yeah, they can. They could get on top of here, but that's that's quite cute as well. If they want to do that, they can do that. Uh, we need to put some bedding in. It's definitely good enough for the both of them. And other things they're going to need. They're going to need some fresh water and food. I'm going to pause again. We need to make sure we have water treatment going for this place. So I'm going to put this again over here with the other staff facilities. We may have to move it in a bit, so it isn't permanent, but I'm going to sink the terrain down over here and create a little pool. We need to get their plants sorted. So if we go on temperate, let's go Europe because that's where we are. We could just get a few things in here to make it look a little bit nicer. We may have to start with our pumpkin patch and then work from there. Okay, I think that's a little patch going, isn't it? I'm, I'm wondering if we can get some, like, a little fence in here around it. Okay, so we built a little um, outside to it. This looks so cool. Let's see if we can uh, see what it looks like when it's at night time as well. Ooh, that looks cool. I like that. So we've got a little pumpkin patch going. We need to actually make sure that our foxes are happy too, because that, I forgot that that's actually the primary concern of a zoo, is, is the welfare of the animals. So they need more plants in here. This is very boring for them. Let's get Europe plants. Um, this is a big creepy tree. There we are, right. That one's in. Yeah, we've got a little broken tree. How do they feel about the trees? Let's play and find out. They feel good about them. They like all of them. And they don't have any enrichment. Oh, we need to rename them as well. This is zombie. Oh, look at him. Pumpkin. Look at Pumpkin, sat on the roof. Like, what a little rascal. Right, they're gonna need feeding as well. So let's let's get our habitat enrichment items. I'm gonna make it slightly earlier in the day. We may have to have another one uh, a bit at the end where we go through and, and have a look at them at night. <laughs> um, we're gonna put the bamboo feeder in because that's good enrichment for them. And then we're also gonna have a skittle feeder and a dog ball. Let's put that over here. And then we can go on toys. 
And I think we've got to have a, have a blood scent marker. I'm just going to put this back here because it looks a little bit odd. But it is very Halloween-y. So it actually should probably be should probably be near the mist. Um, you can have a sprinkler for them. That should probably be near the water. A tennis ball is very cheap. Um, very cheap entertainment for them. Squash. Wait, small bubble machine. Yes. Okay, there's going to be a little water sports area for them over here. I'm going to put that in. Uh, they don't need a colourful ball if they got that. They need to have a pumpkin ball. That's that's not even that's on that's not even be, un, for, up for discussion. Like, there it is, it's there. Um, and maybe it, now a rubber duck might somewhat detract from the Halloween theme, but we can put a block of ice in back there as well. I think that's probably enough for them to be honest. There's a lot of stuff in there. The guests are having the the time of their lives right now. They are happy with everything. So you can see they're happy on all fronts. Nutrition could be a bit better. We can adjust that in our zoo. Uh, section in one second but for now let's get some donation bins so we're gonna have one two three and then we're gonna put them over here as well one two three donation bins oh i really should have colored them first uh so we're gonna have them be orange and uh well maybe it should just be orange different, different shades of orange Orange and red. Try and work out what looks okay. Orange and brown. That's what we're going with. I don't really like having this one right there, but it's okay. Because you want to walk in. It's a small zoo. You're going to walk in and you're going to immediately see pumpkins. That's the plan. <laughs> uh, we can have something slightly more spacious over here. Maybe a little water area or something. A bit more scenic. Um, but for now, this is okay. And we've got a little pumpkin patch going which I'm a big fan of. Is there anything else we can put in here? Maybe we should... Oh, I know exactly what we should have. We need to have our... Let's take off Mist. Let's put the theme on. Twilight. We need to have our fox. So the story is that this fox owns the pumpkin field and they're a, they're a scary fox that eats lots of chickens for lunch. So you can, and you can be like, oh, can you see the fox? And the kids are like, I can see the fox. It's like, yeah, everyone can see the fox, come on. But the point is that, you know, you've got a little fox for them. And then the adults can actually enjoy seeing the fox for real. We should also have some education for children around here. And I think this is a great time for a paw print. I'm going to rack a little paw right there. Oh, let's see if they're raking in money. Yes. See, our zoo's already making money. We're all good. Let's see what the guests think of the uh, ticket price as well. They think it's good. Oh, there we go. Five, it's going up. You never, never tell anyone that the price is good on something or they'll immediately push it up. <gasps> Look at them. Look at them playing with the bubbles. How cute is that? Let's go to nighttime. Oh, Look at them. They're so adorable. Oh, I think we might need some more lights as well. Uh, bearing in mind, this is a Halloween zoo. We should probably have it on nighttime a lot of the time. So I think we should probably get something like this going. Let's see if we can copy these three. That's pretty cute. Now I'm going to change it back to a little bit earlier so we can see. I feel like I should probably do bright screen warnings every time. <laughs> every time we switch back. Oh, they've, they've come over here now as well. Oh, they think they're overpriced. Okay, let's rein it in. Can we do 250? Nope, let's do two then. Uh, to be fair, there are literally two foxes in our zoo. That's, that's it. Um, that's not the best. We also do need to get some facilities in, but my plan is to make two habitats first and then we can worry about getting some money in with like a food court or something. Um, hopefully we can do an animal talk point at some point too. Um, trying to think what we need. We need more education. Oh, look at the pumpkin ball. They've been playing with it. This is adorable. Oh, are they okay? Our vet's just checking up on everyone, checking they're okay. 
The good thing is, I think we're making money. We are making money. That's such a good sign. That means we've not completely failed, which I always strive to do. If I ever strive to do anything, it's to not completely fail at everything. That's just like, that's my motto. That's how I live. Uh, I think, oh, we could get some conservation boards in as well. I think we should do a couple of conservation boards here because, oh, not like that though. That's a bit weird because these are also really important and I always forget about these. So let's go for something like uh, poaching. And let's do another one here. Let's talk about something else really, you know, uplifting, like species reintroduction. That's probably cuter. Yeah, we'll go with those two. We could also change the color of these, I think. Um, we can at the bottom color editor. Let's can we make them. Right, you're going to be orange. I swear one of them just said pumpkin as well. I might, I, I might be going crazy at this point, but I swear they said pumpkin. Oh, this is adorable as well. We maybe we need to whack this in to say the food's going to be this way. That was so much money, I bet. That was, oh, it wasn't that much. That wasn't that much. Okay, we need to put a sign in now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the food symbols on here and we can say food that way. Well, that was a weird sound. It was a weird sound. I was slightly prepped by what does the fox say? I mean, that, that song really did kind of shed a lot of light on the troubles of the fox, but I'm not 100% comfortable with what just happened. There, she's pregnant though. Zombie. She's pregnant. She's gonna have a little zombo coming out. Oh, well, she's got something else coming out of now. Don't have that come out of you. Not while we're talking about you. Um, she's got a little baby come on the way. How cool is that? A very cute little habitat we've got shaping up here. That we can put it, we could put it in a couple of bits to make it a little nicer. But maybe just some ferns. Very cute. I don't actually think we need topiary in there. I think that was, that's, I'm getting carried away with, with myself there. <laughs> um, we've got our little sign in there. If we put this at night time. Got our little spooky sign, which probably needs a little light with it. So let's, let's get that first. Ooh, we've got these, these beacons. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're gonna have a beacon here. And then everyone's going to be like, oh, the beacon. And it's it's the sign telling you to go. And look, there's a little fox there as well. So cute. We're going to have a little sign saying there. And the food is going to be straight ahead. So we're going to carry on this path down here. That's where food is. That's that's the land of food. Oh, my goodness. Zombie's about to have her baby. Zombie's about to have her baby. This is the biggest news of our zoo so far. We're, not, we're going to have a third animal. This is the worst zoo ever. <laughs> is offspring imminent? Oh my goodness, she's had her baby somewhere. Where has it gone? <gasps> we have a little baby. We have two babies. Oh my goodness. It's three. What is happening? How many did you have? Look at all these little foxes running around. <gasps> Look at the little family. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. Look at them go. Oh, this is adorable, guys. Well, I hope you like our zoo so far. We managed to get a little sign in. We built ourselves a pumpkin patch and we have a little family of foxes to celebrate at the end with. I hope you tune in tomorrow, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.